G'day my friends, Marty Ware here. Mm. Oh, that's good. For martysgarden.com.au, I've got some kids playing across the street. Everything is just going absolutely bonkers here at the moment. But have I got an interesting video for you guys today? Yep. Interesting times deserves interesting measures, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh up two different types of worm farms. Now these worm farms, one is a DIY project that I created myself, and the other is one you can buy in the stores, and they both go outside to self-fertilize your garden. We're gonna compare both of them, and here's one of them here, and the other. Oh, oh. It's gonna be heavy to lift up. Ah. You wanna lift it up sitting down? It's right there. Watch the video, find out more, guys. I came from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Come on, come on. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. So I put this DIY farm here. This is an underground permaculture worm farm. Really good for small space gardens. Now when you're keeping it inside in the winter time, you have the lower bucket, which holds the moisture down below and stops any of the worms from getting out. So we're gonna get rid of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with the underground one. This one's gonna love it here. There's about 2000 worms in here that are bred up over the winter time in the worm cave and I started with about 250. They're gonna spread out through the garden, use this as a central feeding area. I'm gonna feed the top. They will come in and out of the worm farm and breed in here as well. And when the weather cools, cools down, they'll be nice and warm because they're insulated by the compost around the outside and they'll be fine in here on the mid-north coast here, right here in Australia. They're gonna self-fertilize all this garden. My little chicken friend here, she's stuck in the bush. He's gonna watch over him. I've never known a love so steady Even gold won't turn your tide we flow together like an ocean Every low and every high And I would have you any way, dear Any way your heart could bear Even if you had to leave me I'd always be waiting here Even when we are apart Keep you in my heart And I wouldn't change a thing Even if I were the king On a brighter sunset But every day I see it rise I never thought it could be better Until I saw so it in my eyes Even when we 
You beauty! Here we go. Another underground worm farm. This is one of the ones that you can purchase. Screw off lid, has holes in it, big opening at the bottom so they can come in and out and they're growing in this cocoa peat here, this recycled cocoa peat that comes from a hydroponic farm. Now I know a lot of people didn't like it when I did this, but look at the material that I am creating. And they are dropping cocoons in it. And as you can see, the compost worms are in here and loving it. The rain has removed all the salts. There's nothing in here, any nasties. And actually, the fungi that gets in here too cleans anything that's up. That's bad. And so I can just open the lid up, bit of food in the top there, and boom. So what's the advantages of this one compared to the other worm farm? Well. I would say that that DIY bucket worm farm is much better and there's another video talking more on that and I'm going to leave it in the link up below and you can check out how that's made and more about that. But this really is for putting into the end of your garden bed, so raised beds or into sort of compost areas that you're starting out and you want the worms to come in and out, you want them to be centralised and not escape too much because when you're feeding the top and their favourite foods, they'll hang around there and move around and spread their biology, their cocoons, and breed up numbers. So these are pretty good. And I reckon, well, I bought one, didn't I? So here it is. Another underground worm farm that you can purchase. It does a pretty good job. So I've also got some other really great news for you. If you haven't done my worm farming course, the really popular one, well, what I'm going to do, because, you know, these tough times, people need to learn how to grow food. I'm going to combine the two courses together. So one is all about worm farming, a beginner's guide, and then you've got organic seedlings, a beginner's guide. So when you purchase the worm farming one, and I see that the purchase has been made for only around about, I think around 27 or 29 Aussie dollars it's going to be, which is just a steal if you're an American. <laughs> Right, or you've got some other dollars because the Aussie dollar is just so way low. So when you make a purchase, what I'm going to do is then I'm going to add that other course to your list and then you will learn how to grow organic seedlings using all the worm castings that come out of your worm farms after you have successful worm farms. There's also three months coaching in there so you don't get anything wrong. You can just text me inside the area and I will get back to you and help you solve any problems that you may have. So that's my way of saying thanks to all you guys out there for being so, yeah, just so awesome. And I am going to bring out more videos real soon. Please give me a thumbs up. I need the big thumbs up. Makes me feel good. Brings on the algorithm. And, and, makes me keep on producing more videos. I get super psyched. All right, have a great day. Here comes a flexi hand. Thumbs up, leave a comment down below, any questions you have, music. Bye for now.
And I will When the sky is falling I promise you I'm all in No turning back And every day Every moment Every breath you take